Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dee Sparrow's Journey. Thank you so much for the support on this series. You guys on the previous episode said it on the comment section, you want to see more. So here I am with more MTL. March of the Living, when we last left off, I was in a pretty bad shape and I'm still M because I didn't play the game any further. We are in this town over here where I was gonna move out from to get in the end to the third page we have so much to run you see a man on the side of the road struggling to open a crate marked supplies at your approach he stops what he's doing and waves at you he requests your assistance in opening the crate explaining that it was dropped by a helicopter to help the survivors this could be a trap it's a trap and promises to share the contents if you give him a hand we can open the crate you don't need supplies, we might not need supplies, and draw your weapon and tell the man to leave. I don't get it. We badly need supplies, but we draw our weapon and take it away. I actually need the supplies. I need to heal myself. But I do envision that if we draw our weapon out, the guy will probably fight us. Let's go and do that. I'm evil, remember this. This is an evil playthrough. Let's do that. So, you badly need supplies, draw your weapon and tell the man to leave. This is not a very wise way to go into this world, you know. Sooner or later, you'll need the help of others, and you won't get it with this attitude, the man says as he leaves you alone with the crate. <laughs> Food rations, three. Bottle of whiskey, we already have one. I don't need another one. We have here a crowbar. Now, a crowbar is worse than the bat. Do I want to take it though? Hit chance modifier, 5%. Hit chance modifier, less 10%. I don't need a crowbar. Fatigue, fatigue plus 2. Attack delay, there's a less attack delay on the crowbar, meaning that the baseball bat is probably slower. But we don't need a crowbar at all. Envisioning how everything is working right now, we don't need a baseball bat. Do we need the bottle of whiskey? I don't think so. So basically, this was a good event to get food that was about it so let's eat we have a lot of rations we should be able to heal while we eat according to the way humans work you know you should be able to heal while you eat you come across the site of a large road traffic accident a large number of wrecked vehicles and a fallen tree are clogging the road ahead you'll have to find some way to pass it squeeze through the some of the wrecked vehicles Climb over the fallen tree, go around through the forest. I anticipate that we are going to take some damage if we try to climb over or squeeze through some of the wrecked vehicles. And our health is in a pretty bad state already. We're almost dead. So let's go and go through the forest. You begin to travel through the forest, but you see a horde of infected just up ahead. Go back. We don't want to fight right now. So, we are gonna try and squeeze. I'm not a good climber. And Greg is bleeding. He probably even has a broken arm. We cannot climb stuff. So let's go and squeeze. Who would you like to lead you through the wreckage? Well, there, there's only Greg. Duh. You begin to move in between the cars, and everything seems to be going well, until Greg accidentally, I knew it, bumps into a car too hard and sets off the alarm. You move as quickly as you can and make it through without any injuries. Even better! There seems to be no infected nearby. That was lucky. I didn't quite use my smartness over there, but that was lucky. Alright, let's keep moving. So, now I'm gonna choose this way down here. So let's see where this takes us. My health is still down there. I need to get to a point where I can heal myself. I don't know. A city? A nurse? Can I find a nurse in the forest? A survivor limps out from behind a car and notices you standing before him. Hey, I'm hurt pretty badly. I don't want any trouble. I just need a little help and I'll be on my way. It puts a little pressure on his leg by accident and his face tenses. Blood soaks the area where the wound is located. Help the man and dress his wound. Tell him you can't help. I'm no nurse. Who are you talking to? I'm no doctor. I'm not gonna assist you. No! Wait! Please! You're leaving me for dead! You can't do this to me! Yes, I can. I'm evil. You continue to walk away as he struggles to keep up. Eventually, his pleas for help fade away into the distance. 
as probably he died. That's what I envisioned. We are getting pretty fatigued, so we should probably rest over here. Let's eat. I don't know if I should rest in here. Um, we could try that, but we might be attacked. Let's see. But what I also don't want is to go forward. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest. I don't want to go forward and eventually find some zombies and have to deal with them. If I have to deal with them, I want to deal with them without penalties. And right now, I don't have any penalties anymore. I'm gonna move over there. I feel that I'm taking more time, but we're also getting involved into more events if we take the shorter paths with more sectors in between. Oh, we're having a fight over here. Okay, three of them. Three of them is something that I can easily get through. So we have the bat equipped, right? Yes, we have the bat. We don't have any bullets, so we have to go melee. I need to find a shotgun to deal with these guys. If I find a shotgun, I'm set, because I have a lot of shotgun shells. Let's move away. Did I hit him? No, I did. Let's move away. You know the drill. Hit and run. Hit and run. Like my mother does to me. She hits me and then she runs. Let's finish this guy. Boom. That one is Reperino. Let's now take the second one. It seems to be all of the same kind. Meaning that there is no other of those fast charging guys. Let's move away. Okay. We're managing to do it without being hit. And that's what I want. Now, I have edited already, you know, the footage from the previous episodes. And I noticed that in the first instances of the game, I could have totally went melee and saved some bullets for later. But hey, I didn't know about the game. I was a kid back in the days. And I got a teddy bear now. I don't really see any reason to put a teddy bear and replace the perfume. Because if some chick finds me, I want to smell good. I want to try to have a new wife, a new kid, and forget about Tom. No, that's a total lie. The only reason we are doing this is to find Tom and hit Zack in the balls. Remember, that's my objective over here. So let's keep traveling. The long grind of the journey is starting to wear on you. So you decide to stop by one of the few small fortified communities dotted around the place to catch up on some rest. You signed a logbook with a flourish and entered the town of Condor. Walking around the town square, you see a man, all suited up, standing on a small wooden crate, tied to a wooden pole between some tents. You notice that no one else seems to be paying attention to him. You stop a passing citizen and ask why the man was tied up. Oh, him? The citizen snorts. His name is Elliot. Sheriff Jackie caught him trying to escape from his cell, so to be safe, she bound Elliot to a pole, so he wouldn't be able to move. Between you and me, though, she probably just tied him up for the sake of it. Probably to have a lap dance or something. <laughs> Ask the sheriff about Elliot. Cut Elliot's binds and help him escape. Ignore Elliot and go rest. This is what always gets me excited about being evil on an evil playthrough. Let's help the bad man. You wait until no one is looking before walking over, stepping behind Elliot and untying the ropes. He looks at you, slightly confused but grateful at the same time. Meet me outside, he whispers before running off. Continue. You leave the town and hang around until you spot Elliot, climb over the fortifications. Did you notice that I'm going down? Because my chair, my chair is so broken right now that it goes down without me pressing the lever. He waves you over. Seriously. Thanks again for saving me. I know we just met, but would you mind me taking along for a while? I get the sneaking suspicion Jackie is gonna try to castrate me when she finds out I'm gone. Accept his offer. Yes. Let's take this man with us and abuse his will in the future. Let's abuse him in some way. Not sexually, but let's try to use him as a shield against the zombies. You allow Elliot to join on your travels. He is eager to get a move on. Okay, there he is. Blonde. Elliot will be Legolas. Now, let's manage the group. Elliot has nothing in his hands. I don't like that. I wish he had at least some sort of weapon. We have a baseball bat. 
we have the old revolver, but we're missing bullets for the old revolver. So the moment I find ammunition for the revolver, I'll give the baseball bat to Elliot. And the combat will now turn out a little bit more interesting, because so far we've been only fighting with Greg. So right now we will fight with both Greg and Elliot. Okay, let's go over here and keep going forward. So Greg is now the only one that has a flashlight. Elliot is in the dark. He's a rogue. You come across what looks like a bloodbath. By the looks of it, an unfortunate group of travelers must have encountered a horde of infected. You carefully examine the scene and find a man who appears to be barely alive and he was clearly bitten. The man is clearly trying to talk, but it comes out as a, some faint growl. Give the man a mercy and kill him! Approach the man and try to talk to him. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna touch or try to talk with him. Let's just get rid of him. You carefully approach the man and smash his head with a rock. Just as he tries to grab you by the arm. Take that, you silly infected thing! He's not a man anymore. He's not a human. He's just a thing that was trying to bite me already. So we did a good thing over here by showing mercy. Oh, we got some stuff from him. So food rations. Arrival! What is Hellit good for? He's a good liar? This is perfect! He's a mechanic. He's good with a shotgun. He's expert with a shotgun. So we should give him the shotgun once we find one. He is not good with a rifle. Now, Greg is good with a rifle. So I'm gonna take away the baseball bat. I'm gonna give Greg the rifle. We have some bullets for that. And I'm gonna equip it. Let's reload. And now, I'm gonna give everything else to Elliot because Greg can't carry anything else. Greg will be, you know, the leader. You will be the strongest man. You will be the guy up there in the pyramid. That doesn't make any sense. Cell phone earpiece. I don't know why we want this. Someone might be tempted to hurt you if you put it on. If you use a cell phone, people will beat the heck out of you. I don't understand why. So now we got Greg using the rifle and we got Elliot using the bat. Greg could eat some. Let's give some food to Greg. This sounds wrong. It's like I am feeding my minions. You begin to hear the faint sound of engine noise in the distance, spinning around you scan the horizon behind. Several motorbikes with armed riders are speeding directly towards you. Flag them down and ask for assistance. I don't need an, like an assistance. I don't need an assistance. I will kick their nuts. Hide. Open fire as soon as they get within range. Yes! Let's dispatch them. You wait for them to get within range and open fire. They quickly dismount from their bikes and return the favor. They're not zombies, so this is the first time I'm gonna fight something that is not zombies. Okay, there's three of them. And it seems that this guy is making a move on me already, which means he's probably carrying a gun about to wound Greg unless Greg moves away. Should I move then? Hold up a second. So... Greg, aim at the body, aim at the head. Oh, we got new skills because we're using a rifle. So should I just move with Greg to try and avoid the damage? So I'm gonna move Greg over there and Elliot is gonna maybe wait for them to come by? Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh my god, the three of them have guns! This was not a good idea, was it? All right, Greg will keep moving until they shoot. Elliot has nothing else to do other than try and go in and wreck their faces. So I'm gonna try to hit this guy because this is the one that is trying to hit Greg. Greg is gonna die, right? They all missed? Did that guy miss? I think he missed. All right, Greg, Greg take a move on, let's see. So aim at the body, does 10 damage. Aim at the head, trying to instantly kill the target. I have six, actually, let's see. We have... how many bullets? We have four bullets. We have four chances of hitting them. Instantly kill the target. What is the difference between this and this? Okay, this takes more time, but I would reckon it is aiming better. So let's see. Let's try to hit this guy in the middle. Or maybe this guy, because this guy probably does more damage. Let's try to hit him. 
All right, now, Elliot, keep doing what you're doing. Elliot is gonna be hit, I feel. Did I, did I miss? Oh my god, we lost Greg. Does that mean he's game over? Oh my god, you s You fall to the ground in agony, knowing you've met your maker. You wonder how things could have gone so wrong. With your last breath, you curse yourself for starting such a dangerous journey. And so, the journey ends. No! Can I somewhat try to go back and undo what I've just did? Day one. I start my journey. I've always... Screw that! Can we please go back? Oh my god, I cannot go back. I have to start all over again. Don't do this to me! <sighs> I love making videos, and very fortunately, I can no longer do it without your help. If you would be so kind as to click on the link currently on the screen and contribute with just even $1 on Patreon, that would already make a difference. Thank you.